Hi, Thriller Recaps here, today, I am going to explain the movie, Ip Man 3, explaining every scene as it happens. Watch till the end, and please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this. In 1959, in Hong Kong, the renowned Ip Man maintained a low profile. One day, Bruce Lee visited, jogging Ip Man's memory of their prior encounter. Bruce, wanting to be his student earlier, was advised to return when older. Bruce displayed his speed, prompting Ip Man to test him. Afterwards, Ip Man motioned for Bruce to depart, leaving acceptance unclear. Meanwhile, a brawl erupted at Ip Man's son's school. Young Ip Ching and his friend Chung Fong sought to prove their Kung Fu superiority, halted by their teacher. Ip Man's wife briefed him, and he apologized to Fong's father, Chung Tin Chi. Despite arriving late, Tin Chi took his son and Fong home, nurturing Fong to surpass Ip Man. Tin Chi partook in an underground fight arranged by Ma King San, under the employ of American Frank. Frank granted San two weeks to claim the school's land. Following his wife's request, Ip Man went to pick up his son from school, where he crossed paths with Tin Chi. Tin Chi handed him medicine for his son, a goodwill gesture from the previous night. Expressing a desire for friendship, Tin Chi proposed a friendly bout whenever feasible. Just as Ip Man was about to depart, he noticed a group of thugs entering the school premises, led by King San and his accomplices. They assaulted the school's principal, pressuring him to sell the school to them. Ip Man swiftly intervened, subduing the thugs and restraining King San. He promptly summoned the local police for assistance, with Sergeant Pa responding. While Pa couldn't commit to daily surveillance, he advised Ip Man and his disciples to help safeguard the school. The next day, upon bringing his son Ip Ching to school, Ip Man and fellow parents discovered the school chained. Anticipating the thugs' return, Ip Man decided he and his disciples must remain to protect the school. Later that night, Ip Man and his students stayed to guard the school. The principal suggested that Ip Man go home to rest after his earlier efforts, but he chose to stay as he had no other commitments. Before their talk concluded, a swarm of King San's thugs attacked, igniting classrooms in flames. Ip Man valiantly fought back, especially protecting Miss Wong, a teacher. Amidst the chaos, the principal was kidnapped. Seeing this, Tin Chi arrived, aiding Ip Man in repelling the attackers before departing upon gratitude. Upon returning home, Ip Man informed his wife of his late stay due to the school crisis. While she wasn't pleased, she didn't object. Meanwhile, Tin Chi explored a potential martial arts school location with his son, lacking funds. The next day, Ip Man and his students resumed at the school, ignoring the rumors about their role as security. Ip Man's wife, dealing with a stomach ailment, sought medication, while Tin No San learned from Ip Man about King San's arson, stoking his anger and prompting him to confront his former disciple. Tin arrived at a shipyard confronting King San and his thugs, expressing disappointment in King San's turn to thuggery despite his teachings. King San retorted, mocking Tin's financial struggles while he had money. Enraged, Tin slapped him, leading to a knife attack that Ip Man swiftly thwarted. Sergeant Pu intervened, warning them to leave due to the American-backed police captain. They later discussed their predicament, Tin revealed the captain's corruption, leaving them helpless. During an underground fight that night, King San bribed Tin Chi to avenge him against Tin. Tin Chi accepted, driven by his need for funds to establish his martial arts school. Wearing a mask, Tin Chi violently attacked Master Tin at his shop, leaving him wounded. Meanwhile, as Ip Man prepared to leave home, his wife expressed concern about his prolonged absence at the school, longing for his company. Just then, a phone call interrupted, claiming Master Tin needed him urgently at the hospital. Rushing there, Ip Man discovered it was a ploy by King San to distract him from the school's safety. King San aimed to abduct the children, including Ip Ching and Chun Fang. Swiftly, Master Li headed to the shipyard where King San was. Holding a knife to Ip Ching, King San demanded Ip Man's submission. However, Tin Chi intervened, leading to the release of his son due to his association with King San. But upon hearing his friends were captive, Tin Chi joined Ip Man in confronting the thugs, united in their fight. Ip Man and Tin Chi successfully held off the assailants until the police's arrival, resulting in the arrest of the men, including Tin Chi. Ip Man returned home with his son, recounting the distressing events at the school, including the abduction of students. He openly acknowledged his own role in the incident. In a poignant revelation, his wife disclosed her battle with cancer, sharing that the tumor was now untreatable and she had approximately six months left to live. Meanwhile, Frank grew irate with King San for exceeding his instructions, 
rather than just intimidating the school's principal, King San had kidnapped children. Frank reprimanded King San and expelled him after a physical confrontation. He introduced Mui, a skilled warrior from Thailand, as his new fighter, expanding the arena of combat. Ip Man and his wife went to procure medicine, encountering Mui in the elevator who swiftly attacked Ip Man. In the ensuing bout, Ip Man emerged victorious, prompting Mui's departure. Reflecting on the quietude, Sergeant Po advised Ip Man to remain cautious due to the looming threat posed by Frank. Ip Man revisited the former underground fighting arena and met Frank in his office. Acknowledging Ip Man's reputation as the best fighter in Hong Kong, Frank proposed a challenge, enduring three minutes in a fight with Frank would lead to his departure. Ip Man accepted, successfully standing his ground in the intense battle, ultimately resulting in a draw. The encounter concluded without words, as Ip Man left the scene silently, leaving his intentions and emotions unspoken. Tin Chi eventually gathered enough funds to rent the desired space for his martial arts school. While the building's owner wished him well and shared a newspaper featuring IP Man's photo, asking for an introduction, Tin Chi's envy grew. Seeking recognition, he offered money to a reporter to cover his story, but the offer was declined. Fueled by jealousy, Tin Chi claimed his Wing Chun was superior to IP Man's, boasting victories against other masters and openly challenging him. Ip Man, focused on reconciling with his wife, paid no heed. On the tournament day, Ip Man danced with his wife, a skill taught by Bruce Lee who, in turn, sought to be his student. Ip Man clarified he hadn't rejected Lee earlier. Since Ip Man declined the tournament, Tin Chi was crowned the Wing Chun master. During a dance, Wing Sing, Ip Man's wife, fell, leading to her hospitalization. Her condition worsened, and doctors advised extended rest. As her health declined further and she experienced intense pain, Wing Sing entrusted a letter to I. P. Ching for Fong's father. She expressed her desire for a photograph with her husband, moving him to tears as he faced the imminent possibility of her departure. After capturing the moment, she posed a poignant question, if she weren't ill, would he have attended the challenge? His affirmative response was followed by her revelation of another arranged duel with Tin Chi, she encouraged Ip Man to practice, missing the comforting sound of his training. On a rainy night, Ip Man and his wife ventured to Tin Chi's place, the chosen challenge venue, sharing a bittersweet journey as they faced the impending trial together. Engaged in combat with staffs, knives, and bare hands, Ip and Tin Chi clashed intensely. After minutes of a fierce skill display, Ip emerged victorious. The win wasn't easy, as Tin Chi's forceful slap temporarily closed Ip's eyes before he retaliated. Wing Sing was present but chose not to witness the battle. I.P. Ching and Fong joined later, observing the fight from a hidden spot amidst the rain. As I.P. was leaving, he heard the sound of Tin Chi breaking the board that declared him the Grandmaster of Wing Chun. I.P. conveyed that his loved ones held more significance than titles, a sentiment reaching Wing Sing and illuminating her face with a radiant smile. In 1960, Wing Sing passed away. I.P. transitioned to teaching martial arts, with Bruce Lee among his disciples. I.P. Man's influence spread popularizing Wing Chun both locally and globally, leaving a lasting legacy. Don't forget to subscribe as this encourages us to make more videos daily, it also helps with the YouTube algorithm. Please, like, share and subscribe. We love you and we'll see you in the next video.